Everybody is Lauren Brown, also known as Raggy Roy on internet on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and now YouTube. Thank you so much for coming to this video. Today we're gonna to be doing the butterfly look. So this is the look that I did a couple months ago. I'll put the video here that was on TikTok and it got... Um... Okay, so here I am, right? It's supposed to be this regular sunset blend, but then it just got all shapely and now I'm like, dang, this kind of looked like a butterfly. A couple million views and a couple million likes and on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok, it also did really well and it's been recreated a lot of times. I asked on Twitter if you guys were still interested. When I actually did the look a little bit after, maybe a couple weeks after, I had actually done a tutorial, but it was... Two hours long for the footage, and I wasn't very pleased with it, so I'm redoing it now. Let's just jump into it. Okay, so my brows are on. They ate their rice and cabbage today. They're a little thick. Anyways, I'm gonna be using a Morphe M.10 brush, which is just a flat brush like this. This brush that I have. So I'm just gonna go underneath my brow. Would y'all be interested in a feathered brow tutorial? I feel like it'll only be like two minutes long though. But would y'all be interested? A good dupe for the primer that I'm using is the Hard Candy Glimmer Flash Concealer in, I think it's Ivory. Okay, so with the primer, what you wanna do is you're gonna want to bring it out a little bit because we still have to make the wing. Now we got our primer on. Let me pull up this reference photo. Hold on. When it comes to recreating my look, sometimes I think I remember exactly how I did it and then I do it and it's like, a, it's still pretty, but it's a new look. That's what, that wasn't what I was going for. So I'm just gonna start with an orange shadow and this is the Jaclyn Hill palette only because this is the palette I used the first time I did it. So I just wanna keep to the integrity of the look, but you can also use the Me, Myself and Mitchell palette. I just broke the orange in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to blend, just start blending. And you wanna keep in mind the shape. So I know we're gonna be sw swinging this out here. So I'm just gonna start going like that. And this is a BH Cosmetics fluffy brush. It doesn't have a name. I this was like I got this maybe when I was in middle school. It's been a lot of years with this brush. But if you can find something comparable to this, BH Cosmetics might have a new set with it. But this is what it looks like. And whatever I want to do to one eye, I'm going to do to the other. I've never been the type of artist to do one eye and then stop and then start on the second eye because I feel like when you do both eyes simultaneously, they come out way more um, identical to one another. Alright, I'm going to take a yellow shadow and I'm blending out the orange with yellow now. Okay, so let's have a short talk while I'm blending about why I use a white eyeshadow base instead of a color, the one that's the color of my skin. If you think about coloring with a crayon on top of a white piece of paper versus on top of a tan piece of paper, which one is the color going to come out more vibrant on? The white piece of paper. It's just, it comes out more vibrant. It doesn't have to mix with the original color, so it doesn't take away from the integrity of the color of the shadow. And that's why I will always, you know, say, get a white eyeshadow base. Also, I blend up to the brow bone, so it's not like, oh my gosh, there's like a white stripe. See, there's a white stripe there. I'm gonna blend all the way up here with the color. So it's never like, oh my gosh, there's a white stripe. Her eyeshadow uh, base is so different, different colors. But the thing is, I used to not blend up to the, the brow, and I'll show you how crazy that looked on the side. Blending these colors, just vibing. So now I'm going to take a Morphe M433, looks like this. And I'm gonna be taking a red and pink. This is Keep It On and Tipsy Girl. I'm gonna be adding a little bit of this raspberry color on the side over here, which is dance party. I'll be adding a little bit of that. And I'm gonna be taking the pink the same place that I took the orange. So we're just gonna be making the outline. So 
So now I'm just going to blend out the orange and the pink, making sure that they're blended to my liking. The funny part is the first time I did this look, it was an accident. I've always been like a little bit nervous or I don't want to say we're scared because I might be a little bit dramatic of drawing butterflies because I just never have been able to draw one. And now I have gained a following based off of a butterfly look. So that's ironic. I have now done a rainbow version, a cool tone version, and then of course this warm tone version here. So now we're going to take a purple shadow. So I'm not gonna take the dark purple first. I'm gonna take this raspberry-ish purple, which is Stay True, and then Therapy Sesh. So I'm just gonna take these two purples. So if you're using another palette, you just wanna make sure that you don't use the darkest one yet, because we're not really going into that right now. And I'm just gonna blend underneath the purple, but I'm gonna really concentrate this to the outer edge. That didn't give me what I wanted. I think I need to change brushes. I'm gonna use a Morphe M456. It's a little bit more tapered. Not a line of demarcation. Let's go into the Be Myself and Mitchell palette. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Motto which is this dark raspberry and a little bit of more again because the last palette is starting to make a line of demarcation and not blending out easily and I don't have time for that. So now what we're gonna do is cut the crease. And this, it looks crazy right now because we're not done blending the entire face, but just stick with me, okay? I'm gonna take some more primer I'm gonna take this small coastal stents brush. It doesn't have a number on it, but and we're gonna do a quick swipe, okay? And then we're just gonna spread that out across the lid. I like doing quick swipes on my crease instead of going slow, just because when you're sitting there going slow, first of all, you're holding your breath, you're anxious, and then it doesn't even come out perfect. I'd rather just do one swipe and not come out perfect and me just fix it than sit there like <sighs> and it not come out perfect like what was the point of that waste of time also i feel like it just i don't know maybe there's some engineering science kinetics to it but i feel like when i go fast it, it just comes out way better because it's just like oops quick line And I'm not going to go all the way out. Just on the lid. So now I'm going to take the Me, Myself, and Mitchell uh, Glitter Eyeliner Topper in Mama, which is a pearlescent pink. And I'm just going to go along the crease that we just made. This glitter will really help with the contrast of the crease to the crease color. So it's gonna make it look like the crease is cut way sharper than it actually is. This is the same for if you use a glitter or if you use a white, like if you use a lighter color, when you cut the crease, it's gonna make the crease look crisper. So now I'm gonna take another flat brush. It, this is another one from the BH Cosmetics set. It really doesn't matter what type of uh, flat brush you use. To muffin, this palette is so beat up. <laughs> Y'all see that? Let's go into Muffin, which is another pearlescent pink from the Me, Myself, and Mitchell palette. Yeah, so I'm going to swipe across the lid. So when it comes to mattes, I tap, but when it comes to shimmers, I swipe. I'm gonna go back to the purples from before and start to blend inward. Of course, in a triangular direction, just so we don't change the integrity or the shape of the eye. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a the flat brush from before, if I can find it, and just go from purple to red to uh, orange to yellow, just like we did in reverse order for what we did in the crease. 
blue, red. Yay, red. And then I'm going to do orange. I'm trying to stick with the angle. Now we've pretty much finished the eye before we do the liner. So let's work on the bottom and then we're gonna go back to the liner, okay? It might seem like I'm jumping around, but it's because I'm jumping around. So I'm gonna take this small brush from Michaels. It's a craft brush. It's it's a, ten, a 20 slash zero. I'm not sure, I don't, I don't do that type of art. So I'm not sure what that means, but it's very small. I'm gonna take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And actually, I didn't know that you could sharpen this product and so i got on live one day and people were like why do you dig inside of it just sharpen it and i was like just what and they were like sharpen it and i was like what so i didn't really know so i've really just been using a small brush and digging into the product and turns out that was helpful because that makes me be more precise anyways so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into my waterline and i'm just gonna swipe okay and the thing about a waterline is a lot of people say, well, how does your eye not water? How are you not scared? First of all, I don't use a brush that's really hard. Like I don't use an applicator that is sharp because that is obviously dangerous. I also use only cream or gels in the waterline. So I don't use anything that's water-based because if you put something that's water-based in your waterline, of course the water from your eye is going to make it be messy. It's gonna make it burn. So this is a cream uh, pencil, it's eye safe. I've been wearing it for years. Yeah. Quick swipes, and I always hold the brush horizontal to the eye, so it's parallel to the eye instead of perpendicular. So it's not like I'm stabbing into my eye. I don't go like this. I go like this. Along the, the eye, not at the eye. All right. Now, let's start on the bottom. Also, this is the, this is the first makeup tutorial that I probably have will post. Uh, I'm really nervous so let me know down below if you enjoyed it things that like you want to see from me in the future or you just like techniques that you want to learn um I'm, I want to be as educational as possible with this channel I'm going to take this Morphe M506 which is a taper brush like this into the purple and we're going to go right here to like the outer three-fourths of the eye because this is where the bottom part of the wings going to go when it comes to doing the, the bottom lower lash line, you can either go lighter to darker or darker to lighter. When it comes to this look in specific, I like to go darker to lighter. So I can blend it out. I'm gonna take this Morphe M4771 and go into the pink, the hot pinks. And at this point, it might have got confusing on what palette I'm using. I'm using both the Morphe and the Morphe Jaclyn Hill 2 and the Me, Myself, and Mitchell palettes. Just because they have the same colorway doesn't make a huge difference. I don't want you to feel like you have to buy the palette. Um, and I'm mixing the colors. So, and I'm going to just go over top of the wing that we just made. Other cool thing about the Me, Myself, and Mitchell palette, it comes with a mirror. So I can see. Wow. The bottom is looking good. And Morphe M433, I'm gonna go into oranges. And I'm just gonna keep blending those colors until I think it's nice enough. I wanna make sure that it looks blended, but also that the colors don't get lost. So I don't want the orange or the, I mean the pink or the purple to get lost. Okay, since we are doing the bottom, I'm also going to start blending out the top. So this is the purple uh, raspberry that we started with. So I'm gonna go in opposite order of the crease. Start blending that out with red and pink. 
blending this part of the face out really makes a big difference. I've been winging out my uh, my liner lately. When I wing out my liner, I like to wing out the eyeshadow too. Just because when I, you see when I put some more blush on, it would just make the look way more cohesive. I already set my face. I really don't like putting on highlighter after I've set my face. So we're probably gonna put no highlighter on today, which is gonna be why it looks so different than the first time I did it. Cause that really added a little Jenny Saquon. But when you have blush and highlighter, winging out your eyeshadow like this and making sure that you blend all the colors throughout your face really makes a difference. And this is usually the eye that I take pictures on. It's just my favorite eye, but this eye just looks so much better today. So we're just gonna ignore her. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna finish the bottom of the eye. And actually first, what I'm gonna do is, I don't like having makeup on this part of my eye. I feel like it changes the integrity of your face because it kind of gives, it makes your nose look weird. The color does. So I'm gonna just take a Morphe M4 one seven three which is a concealer brush and just blend this all out this is a ColourPop brush their brushes are pretty cool too ColourPop e10 and pearlescent pink right here i'm gonna take that liner from earlier and go right underneath if you'll see a lot in my looks i like to put the a glitter or a white or a very bright color right here underneath the eyes because it really opens up the eye and makes up makes a different shape i'm all about opening up the eye which is also why i use a white waterline a lot of the time the difference between i could really do a whole youtube video on waterlines it'd be short but are y'all interested anyways quick quick uh, overview a white waterline is going to open up your eyes because it makes the eyeball it makes it look like the eyeball is extended into the waterline when you use a black waterline it's going to make your eyes look smaller and it's also going to accentuate the color of your eyes because the black contrasting with the brown so my eyes look way more brown when i wear a black waterline but my eyes do look smaller and more snatched yeah so when you do like a, a black liner or a black smoky eye it just adds to the sultriness and the smokiness and it just seems more severe a white seems brighter and you could say like white would be more daytime black would be more dark time i mean the black would be more nighttime but i really don't believe in makeup at certain times of the day but if you're trying to think of them like that you could think of them like that all right coastal sense oh excuse me coastal sense brush and it looks like this it's a flat shader brush and start on the bottom start with yellow and then go yellow, orange, red, purple, just to blend into, but I'm not trying to blend over the butterfly part, but I'm trying to blend into there. I try not to go far down at all in this part because I like this part to be clear when sometimes when i go too low when it comes to blending my lower eyeshadow my face can look my bags can look accentuated and we don't want that i'm going to blend this out with some blush and then we're going to get to the liners if you're not putting blush on your nose grow up it's so cute I'm with the pastel shadow, not pastel, um, pearlescent shadow to go on my nose. Make sure you don't take your nose contour all the way down. It kind of defeats the point. You want to do the bridge and then the tip. Also the cupid's bow. You gotta do the cupid's bow. This is a non-negotiable. Just feel like it needs a little bit of. This is the Laura Mercier Devotion Highlighter. And I'm taking a Morphe M510. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner and this is gonna be the liner that I usually, this is gonna be the liner that I always recommend because it's like $3 and it's so good. And I just like the applique. So I'm gonna make sure I wipe off all the excess cause I don't want a really fat line. And this is in Jet Black. We're gonna start in like the middle of the eye.
and we're going to bring it up right this one looks way better to me because it the shadow is inside the lines and this one the shadow is not inside the lines so we're just going to stick with this eye <laughs> That's the cool thing about social media is like, uh, you, if I don't want you to see the other eye. We just will not look at her anymore. Make it a little bit thicker just so that when I do the dots. I feel like the underneath of my eye is not bright enough. So I'm going to take this Milani Fruit Fetish Eyeliner and Mango Me Crazy. Haha, <laughs> that's cute. And it's just like a yellow. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Just to brighten the eye a little bit. So now we have to do the bottom. So we're gonna do the same thing as we did on the top. And just basically trace the outline of the dark color. If you mess up on a line, just make it thicker. Hello. Okay, now let's get into the lines. So I'm gonna make some diagonal lines going downward until we hit the end of the purple. So I don't wanna draw anything on the pinks or the yellows or anything that we've made on the lid of the eye. So I'm just gonna draw, I'm gonna do the same on the bottom. This is the part that always gets a little messy. And if you're wondering, how many lines do I draw? Literally, just draw from the tip to where the dark color ends. So if you're doing this in blue or green or any of that, see how I went only where the purple is? But don't go onto the lid because that kind of messes up through the, the integrity of the butterfly. But it changes for every eye shape and like how big your eye is. So on this side, there's four, but on this side, there's three because this eye's a little bit smaller in the way I drew the wing. So use your discretion. All right, so now I'm gonna take the same brush I did with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil when I did the waterline. I'm gonna wipe it off and I'm going to use it to do the dots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start dotting. I'm trying to make them in a straight line as possible. Please make sure the black liner dries before you put the white liner on because it will mix and it'll get nasty. Now, the first time I did this look, I didn't put dots on the lines going across, but then I did for the second time and the third time. I think because I saw people recreating it and they did dots right here. And I was like, well, that's kind of cute. So. You could stop there or you could add some more dots. Okay. And that is the eye. I'm gonna put on some lip gloss. And then we're gonna go to the outro. It's gonna be great. All right, guys, so I have all my lips and my eyelashes now, and I wanna talk about my lips really quickly because I did them using all black-owned products. So, excuse me, I used the A. Bonnie A-B-O-N-I Cosmetics Lipstick in Killer Queen, which is this brown. And then I used the A. Bonnie Cosmetics uh, lip Lipstick in Daydream, which is a nude. It's, it's a cool tone nude. I topped that in the Indie Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Sugar and Spice. And I just, I just love the way this smells. It smells like strawberry. It just smells delicious. So these are from small black owned companies. Make sure you support black owned businesses. And yeah, they look, looks great, it looks great on my lips. And yeah, so I have on my lashes now and these are just some that I found in my room. I'm not even sure if they go together. <laughs> um, thank you so much for all the support. I know that my video on Twitter with the butterfly uh, had a million views and on TikTok had I think 3 million views or 2 million likes or something like that. Thank you so much for all the support and I can't wait to see more recreations. I've been looking at your recreations. I saved them in their own special folder on my Instagram. I try to comment and like all of them. So make sure that you tag me in those. Tag me in the picture itself because I can like go back and find it simpler than if you just tag me and mention me in the comments. 
And yeah, if you wanna see more of my face, then you can subscribe down below. Give this video a like because that really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram at Raggedy Royal. And yeah, I'm gonna put some recreations on the side here if I haven't already done it. These are some recreations of the looks. And yeah, let me know if you have any other videos that you want to see, if you have any uh, techniques you want to know, or just some questions that you have in, regarding makeup, and I can see how I can put those into video form. And yeah, thank you guys so much for everything. My mom always makes fun of me because he's like, you always have such a hard time saying bye and outro, but it's like, I just get really excited. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye.